everyone, I'm Will, and today we are going to look at wild carrot flowers. But before that, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Right here we have some Queen's Anzalace flowers, or wild carrot. The wild carrot flowers are going to have a large size when they're fully grown and bloomed out. They'll also have a nice fruity smell. Let's smell it. Yep, there's like a fruity smell, and there is almost, imagine, like almost that licorice smell also there. It is easy to harvest. Pinch with your thumbnail and pinch with your finger, your pointer finger, pinch and twist real quick, and that'll pop it right off. What does it taste like? Very bland, not a lot of flavor. When you think of carrots, this does not taste like carrots. It tastes more actually like licorice or almost like dill flavor so almost that like licorice dill flavor is right in there and really no carrot flavor what you're looking for the leaf structure is going to be very very uh, staggered kind of point going alternate going this right off the base now it grows right to the edge of this carrots are a biannual now it's best to not mix this up with water hemlock or poison hemlock. Those two plants are perennials and those are poisonous. They're as poisonous as poison ivy. So even touching them, you can get even a rash. Now with searching with wild carrots, there's like right over here, if you can see right on this one, there's a slight on the outer part of the flower when it's forming. There's a slight pinkish hue to it. When you find Queen's Anne's Lice, it will come in an abundance of the flowers. And it's a little bit hard to over harvest the flowers, but leave some that you can have it go to seed. Some already have gone to seed and they really create a lot of seeds and the seeds can be used for like medicinal purposes also. When the wild carrot goes to flower, you then can't use the root as actual carrot for cooking because it's gone woody. So where to find wild carrot? Well, it grows basically anywhere that there has been like a good farming area or where I'm at is where there's uh, soccer fields and baseball fields. So right along the side of the dirt road here. The best time to harvest wild carrot flowers are in August. They are in their peak of flower and the source of pollen in them. So let's look on the underside of the flower. The underside of the flower is going to be, it's an ohm uh, structure of flowering. Uh, so all the flowers are actually coming from one part in the center and then they uh, stretch out and bloom out. And same thing of the each flower set. So it's very smaller set right there. And it does the same thing, like the whole structure of the flower. So it blooms out nice and big. And another thing is in the center, there's usually like this black uh, little uh, spot. Is a good identification also there. And that's how you identify wild carrot flowers if you want to see more go down in the description below click the link to my channel or press the round subscribe button to help me out to get to a thousand subscribers and of next time remember get outside get fresh air and have fun see ya